Kia ora koutou, no mai hoki mai, welcome back to UniQuest, my name is Chris Huriwa and today we're filming a special episode of UniQuest because this is the first episode for street, my favourite style of unicycling, happy to pass on that knowledge, that wisdom to anyone else who wants to become a street unicyclist. So today we're going to be working on the foundational skills to turn you into an amazing street rider, which involves 1990 bunny hop, rolling hop down a curb and we're going to finish it off with a jump mount variation drop mount sweet as let's get into it so today we're going to start off with the 1990 otherwise known as a two-staged 180 twist which should look just like this 90 90. so obviously you want to be thinking about the fundamentals of a bunny hop holding onto the handle and when you want to jump try and use your knees like a spring so just like this with your knees, with your knees, just like that. And probably the first thing you wanna be thinking about is slowing down before you bunny hop, because when you turn around, you're gonna be changing directions, you're gonna be changing your momentum. So try and come into it as slow as you can. So like this, nice and slow, so that you kinda of come to a stop, so that you can easily regain and change your momentum. Second thing you wanna be thinking about after slowing down is what you're doing with your shoulders and your hips, just like that. So you're riding into it, you want to turn your shoulders and then jump. Turn your shoulders, then jump. As well, think about where you're looking. Look where you want to go. So I want to go that way, I'm going to look that way. Look that way, I'm going to go that way. And of course, with everything, after you 90, 90, lean forward. Unless you want to ride out backwards, 90, 90, lean back. And if you're going to roll out backwards, you don't need to come to such a sudden stop because you're gonna be continuing your momentum going in a straight line. So you can do it a bit faster like this. And if you're struggling, of course, you can still try two-handed like this. Keep in mind to keep your bunny hops as small as possible. And you can break it up into multiple, multiple hops if you want. So like this, you know, one, two, three, four. And then slowly reduce the amount of hops that it takes for you to do a full 180. All right, now we're gonna work on rolling hop down a curb. What makes this difficult in comparison to doing a bunny hop on flat ground is that you need to be bunny hopping from a very specific location. When I come up to this curb, I need my cranks to be in the right, right position for a bunny hop in this very specific position, okay? So what we're gonna learn first is how to take what's called our run up, which is making sure our cranks are in the right position from our takeoff point, okay? This is our takeoff point. We wanna be able to ride into this. So how are we gonna do that? Taking our run up. The first way that I would do it personally is riding backwards, but that can be quite difficult for a beginner. So I would do it like this. I would just ride backwards. And I know that when I get to that point, my cranks are gonna be in the right position because I rode in a straight line from my takeoff point. So just like this. My cranks will be in the perfect position with my right foot in front, my dominant foot, to jump down just like that. Another way you can take your run up is just walking your unicycle back nice and straight like this. But if you use this method, you will notice, see when I get to the takeoff point here, I'm a little bit further away than when I started. I originally started more like there, and now I've ended up here. And the next way, probably the best way for beginners for taking your run up, is to either free mount really close to the edge, just like this. Free mount like this. Ride, 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 step off your uni. Turn your unicycle around. And then your run up should be right. Or like this, you can free mount, bunny hop next to the edge, then turn around and then ride. Just like that. If you find you are practicing something particularly hard, something like a rolling hop off of a drop, and you need your cranks lined up perfectly every time, and getting your run up is a real pain in the ass, take a little twig, a piece of chalk, or a stone or something. When you figure out where your run up is, just draw a little line on the ground, or you can use the rubber on your tire, scrape it along the ground, make a little mark. That way, when you're practicing something difficult, you don't have to retake your run up every time. The next thing to think about before you move on to actually doing the rolling hop down the curb is to make sure you have a perfect bunny hop. You don't want to be pedaling in mid-air because you want to make sure that you land nice and solid, 
even weight on both feet. When you pedal mid-air, you're gonna take your cranks out of that parallel alignment, that horizontal alignment with the ground, and you can land in some sketchy, dangerous situations. Another thing to think about is the curb itself. If you land on the curb, instead of jumping off the curb and landing on the ground, your unicycle is gonna react in some pretty crazy, unpredictable ways. It can be very dangerous, so just be careful, keep that in mind. Another thing you can practice if you're struggling to use that forward momentum to jump forward is to jump sideways. You can use a line or a crack on the ground as a starting point, and when you get more comfortable with that, you can try it down a drop like this. So if you can't figure out how to jump forward yet, how to use that forward momentum, ride up to a curb like this sideways and just pop off sideways like this. Sideways, like that. And then slowly come at it with less of an angle, slowly, and then eventually try and straighten up like that. Another thing to think about is when you land on the ground, you want to land facing forward. So you don't really want to be landing like this. That's a lot of sideways pressure on your unicycle. So when you're coming off the drop, try and straighten up your body to land forward facing like this. Turn. Another thing to think about is knowing the difference between simply riding off the curb and bunny hopping off the curb. I want you to actually practice bunny hopping off because the technique you're gonna use here is the exact same technique that you would use on any other drop. Just like that. With the main thing you wanna be thinking about, landing with straight legs. Landing straight legged, nice and solid like that. You can even bunny hop afterwards if you want. And the point of that is so you can evenly distribute your weight on both feet Shock absorb with those knees for a nice, clean, safe bunny hop. And the last tip that I can think of is use your forward momentum. You're riding into this, it's a rolling hop. It's a lot different than being static on the spot like this and having to actually jump forward, okay? Learning that can be quite difficult. What I want you to do is use that momentum of riding into it. Just think about jumping up, a nice gentle jump up in the air and using that forward momentum, that leaning forward, to give you that distance down the curb. And finally, we're gonna be doing drop mount, which is basically a jump mount applied to street unicycling. We're taking a normal trick, and then we're gonna do it off something. We're gonna jump off something and add it into the mix. So that's what this is. I'm standing on this obstacle here, and I'm gonna do a jump mount, just like this. Turns it into a drop mount. And if you haven't already learned how to do a jump mount, don't worry, for some people you might find this easier because you're having to jump off the ground less and you're more simply jumping onto your unicycle instead of jumping up and then onto the unicycle. But if you are struggling, I definitely recommend you go back, learn the tips for the jump mount and then come back here. And if you're lucky enough to have a place like this, this is a perfect place to learn an assisted drop mount, just like this. So some basic tips, don't bring your unicycle off the ground like this, okay? Because then you're gonna worry about a few things. You're gonna have to worry about your cranks potentially moving when you're landing back on the unicycle. Uh, you're gonna have to worry about exactly where your pedals are going to be. If you leave the unicycle on the ground, you don't have to worry about anything moving and you know exactly where you need to land. And like the previous skill we learned doing a rolling hop off a curb, Remember, we're now introducing a new obstacle to our learning experience. So just keep in mind that there is something behind you which you should use to emphasize leaning forward. Like this, you don't want to be leaning backwards too much and falling backwards onto these stairs, right? So as soon as you land onto your unicycle, make sure you keep in mind leaning forward. A few things to help you lean forward. Make sure the unicycle and you are as close together as possible, like this. Just don't make it to the point where as you jump up, you're gonna be hitting the seat. You don't want it so close like this that as you jump, you're touching the seat. So just spaced out a little bit like that, but as close as you can, like this. Again, to help you to lean forward, think about where you're putting your hands. If your hands are here and you're trying to do a jump mount, you're gonna be landing on the very back of the seat, like that, and a lot of your weight is still gonna be behind you. So try and move your hands up as far to the front as possible so that you've got all of this room to land on the seat and try and aim to land as far on the front as possible. 
Kilma Tutato, we're all finished. So remember, practice your bunny hops, jumping with straight legs and landing with straight legs. Very important. Keep your eyes out for the next episode, but if you're wanting more, check out the beginner episode for Flatland and the general levels, which should also be online. I'll put a link down in the description below. Feel free to leave comments and all your feedback down below as well. And if you appreciate these videos, check us out on Patreon. We appreciate it a lot. Matewa.